you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. There's a big generational shift going on in the Democratic Party among the candidate pool to begin with. So the impact of these allegations about uh, Biden's behavior, I think, will be different for different members of the electorate. Um, he's, he describes himself, and he's known among his peers as a tactile politician. He, he touches people. But that's increasingly uh, becoming less common and, and more unnerving to people who are being touched. This is not a question of uh, harassment in the workplace because he's not an employer and he doesn't do this out of a position of power. My, my belief is that this is an act, uh, uh, unusual act of friendship, friendliness. But I think he's going to have to adjust his behavior uh, if he's going to be successful in securing the nomination. To have you wear me in today, and I thank you. And for me, this is the highest. Who's got the selfie? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Right. You oh, ready? wow, you, you're a pro at this. Oh, I tell you what. Well. You ready? All right, ready? Oh, I got it. All right, Dave. Yeah. Take a bite. Do you want to do a goofy one? <laughs> you sound like my daughter. Get in here. <laughs> This story will continue to have legs because the Republicans will now pick up on this. So they'll try to pursue this story as long as they can in order to damage Biden, either to prevent him from entering or uh, to weaken his candidacy when he does enter. When you come to the White House, I will buy you the beer. Okay? But the only thing I can carry with